beautiful snowy morning up at the mine. I was just shooting back there where that forest of stoles is and climbed over this rubble that's fallen down. The 1660 is what I'm standing on right now. That 1660 collapses. All this with these huge slabs are. More of you with the vein here. And wow, this stoke chamber runs way up there. But you see how clearly delineated that vein is? It's pretty interesting. And I just realized that I thought this was a separation, but instead that's just rubble. In other words, you can see the stope up there. It just continues over, and it did originally, but these huge slabs have come down and filled in this section. So it looks like it's separate, but it wasn't originally. And that's actually really sketchy because there's just nothing holding that mass together. It's got all these smaller individual rocks in it. Any one of those came down, it would kill me. So this isn't a place to hang out. But with all the blasting going on, it hasn't shaken loose yet. Hopefully they won't do it while I'm standing here showing this to you, but man, that's crazy. Anyway, interesting stuff back here. So the stuff I'm standing on looks like it all sloughed out from right there given the color of the, the slabs and such. So, all right, I am gonna squeeze out down through there. Got plastic over that, trying to keep some of the warm air inside. Much more cozy now, with all the uh, core drillers here as well. A lot of people here now. These are the latest core samples coming out. Both the trammer batteries are dead, so I'm taking this out by hand. But these are the core samples, or these are boxes of the core samples we've been drilling out so it'd be really bad if I derailed and dumped these all over because then we wouldn't know where the ore bodies and such were that'd be bad news this is a valuable load right here a lot of money putting another core drill in there's a small sample of what we're looking for see the quartz vein right there the rest of this looks like serpentine. But, a little quartz vein right there. Snow and ice presents the unique challenges. Now we're using this as a battering ram. Push the snow out of the way. It's working a bit better than I expected. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Doing more lagging and timbering for running that new drift. That's what those guys are working on. 
and we're trying to open up more track space. This is in the first 300 feet where it's really low and uncomfortable to get through. And with all the snow outside, it's been a little bit warmer, a little above freezing. And so the water is percolating down through the earth and right in the mine. You can see how much more drippy it is in this section. Normally there wasn't any dripping going on except for one little section up there. And that section up there is a torrent. And we've got this elsewhere. It's like this all the way through. That's why you wear rain gear when you're underground miner. Very chilly morning here at the mine. Ground's frozen solid. This is actually all snow in front of me with dirt and gravel on top of it. Berm used to be about where I'm standing right now. But clearing the snow out, all got pushed over here. Hey, you can actually walk right on it now, huh? What's that? It feels like dirt. Yeah. It does feel like dirt. We're thinking it'd be pretty funny if uh, somebody just drove out on here thinking it was okay. But since I'm walking on it now, maybe they wouldn't even notice. Some days are more mundane than others. Today is a posting step out area signs day for Enshaw. The step out area is an area where somebody can get off on the side so the trammer or ore cars don't run them over. You'd never be able to figure that out on your own without the sign. I mean, you'd never be able to look at the spot and see it was open on your own. You'd have to have the sign there to know that you could actually have a space to get out of the way there. Isn't that right? You'd never know. Some locations are more challenging because there's no wood to drill into. So you have to get creative. No wire over here. Save lives, you save the mine. 30 years in the future, some kid mine explorer is going to find one of these. The coolest damn thing to take it home. You're right about that. <laughs> well, they've got, what, 26 to choose from? Yeah. Yeah, we're putting up 26 of these today, so. Assuming that the whole mine isn't collapsed by then. Which there's a good chance it will be. 